So this video is an extension of my last video about shooting on manual and how I sort of uh, shoot, uh, set my uh, Lumix GX9 up for my style of shooting and all that sort of stuff. So let's roll that intro and get into it. Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. So yeah, this is a quick video to show you my personal settings on the Lumix GX9, okay? So um, first things first is, as, as you can see here, I'm shooting in manual mode. I've got my um, Panasonic Leica uh, F1.4 on, 12 mil, um, fantastic lens. And um, as you can see, I've got my white ba balance sent to, set to cloudy day. Uh, there's auto white balance. Um, I just like the tonality of the cloudy day uh, setting, right? So that's a personal preference. I find I get more consistency in my shots rather than leaving on auto white balance. Um, so uh, cloudy day white balance, ISO set super low at 100, right? Um, by default, Lumix cameras will always um, be set at 200 and then set at one stop increments. I've got a third of a stop here, so I get, can get down a bit lower. Um, if we go back, back again, and then we'll go up. And we'll just go into some basic settings the way I sort of set up my Lumix GX9, right? So... Uh, metering mode, I've got my multi-metering mode. Color space, standard uh, Adobe RGB, gives you some more tonalities than the sRGB. Um, filter settings off, okay, and then I'm gonna go straight up to the top here. Aspect ratio four to three, we wanna use as much of the sensor as we can. In saying that, I love shooting at 16.9 as well, okay? So that's just another thing. Um, and then picture size, large picture size, quality, I've got RAW and JPEG, okay? So that's gonna be very important to my next settings here, right? Scroll down to photo style, okay? And this is how I shoot JPEGs, right? And this is how I get my in-camera results. I shoot on Cine like V. Now, if we go, scroll through, we've got a whole heap of them that we get a lot of people, like the Vivid, that's pretty cool. Natural, monochrome, standard black and white, L monochrome, L monochrome D. I'm gonna do a video on that soon. Uh, scenery, portrait, custom, Cine like D, back to Cine like V, right? So I leave Cine like V on all the time. This gives me my JPEG result straight out of the camera, right? So if we dive a bit deeper in, I've got my contrast boosted at plus two. I take down the sharpness a tad at minus one. I take all the noise reduction out at plus five, so I boost my noise reduction values. And then I just take a little bit edge, a bit of edge off with my saturation, right? So I'm at minus two. Um, you know, you can boost your saturation and then that's zero, and then I just like taking a little bit of edge off with my saturation. The biggest thing about this is, this is the JPEGs. This is not gonna affect the raw images, okay? So when you go to do stuff in Lightroom and you use your raw files, this information is not gonna be baked in, but it will be baked into the JPEGs. So if you wanna get um, you know, JPEGs straight out of camera looking really, really good, what you've got to actually do is you've actually got to dive into um, our photo styles, right? You dive into that setting there and then you just experiment with what photo style you like the most, right? You might leave it on standard and just have it completely standard and go through. Vivid's another good one that we love shooting on. Natural is really cool. Monochrome as we can, but you know, it's taken me about four or five years to realize that for me and my JPEGs, straight out of camera, sitting like V is, for me, the best looking result with my JPEGs, right? And all you do is you just spend a few months just tweaking the settings. So you customize what you actually like, right? Boosting contrast, taking sharpness down. You might wanna work the other way. You wanna might boost the sharpness even more. It's all up to you. 
And this is why Panasonic systems, um, you know, once you get in there, you can really customize your own style and look with your JPEGs. So I highly recommend getting into that photo style and tweaking the increments there, right? So um, really that's about it in a, is in a basic sort of setting, right? I've got, uh, if we dive in a little bit deeper, operation here, you can go in, you can set all your dials and stuff like that. As you can see here, I've got um, f-stop at the front and then I've got shutter speed at the back. Um, you got your exposure dial that you can set. I've got that on. You can either have that off as well. Um, I don't use that because I don't shoot an aperture priority, but going back, you just got to dive deep into the menus to, to work out how you like to shoot and what you like to shoot. My end goal one day is to start delivering JPEGs straight off the camera, straight to the client, right? I'm not talking high-end work, but I'm talking like small family portrait sessions and stuff like that. Getting my um, JPEGs to a standard where the client just instantly likes them. And it's, it's getting to there, but you've just got to not just rely on the basic functions of how the camera comes default. Get in there, tweak your settings, and make the camera work for you. If you've got any questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to um, answer if I can. And yeah, um, just get out there, take some shots, shots, and then experiment with your settings, okay? So until next time, keep shooting, and I'll see you later. Bye.